Hey guys, it's Karina with the Score Esports. I'm replacing my colleague Marcel Feldkamp. He unfortunately is ill this week. And I'm here with Febven from Fnatic. So uh, let me know, um, you picked up Corky in the game against Giants. And during IEM, it was not very successful pick uh, when you picked it and you didn't pick it that often. Did you practice it this week, like particularly Corky? Uh, yeah, after... Um watching SKT play and their prioritization, uh, prioritizement on Corky. It was really high and this champion is just super obnoxious because you have strong laning phase, strong push, strong uh, everything in your lane. You have package at eight minutes and then you have so much pressure on the map. And also you push the tower really fast. So I just undervalued Corky at the tournament and I thought I could play assassins into it. Uh, apparently it didn't go well because he he played with the uh, defense and masteries and exhaust and the grass mastery so he gets HP when he attacks me and then he just perma pushes. And after that I I figured out that Corky is really strong in lane. So after that my prioritizement uh, for Corky went up. So, yeah, he's really strong and, uh, yeah. Well, you definitely demonstrated this game going like 6-0-1 at, what, 15 minutes? Um, another question, um, Kly was joking that probably after performance at IEM, people are going to ban Jin uh, so that Reckless doesn't get it. Do you think it was brave from Giants to leave it open or...? Uh... No, not really, because on red side you usually have three bands which you want to get the knight from the from the enemy team. So usually it's like Nidali, Lulu, and what else is the band? I I don't know what they band, but there's like three bands you basically have to ban, or it's too OP. And Jin is not really a really overpowered champion, but if we can get it, it's really good because no one is really playing it, and Martin is really good on it, Reckless and. Yeah, they, they just don't have enough bands for us. Well, uh, your success at IEM was kind of surprising for many teams, uh, for many fans, and no one did really expect that, and you went into the finals. Tell me, do you think that your success from IEM and the lessons learned can be transferred also to the ULCS? Uh, yes. Uh, during the IEM, we, we learned a lot. We had <coughs> 13 games which is basically seven weeks of LCS or something, six weeks of LCS. So during the tournament, we improved a lot and uh, we're still looking over the, the replays because it's really important that we check our mistakes and check our team compositions, check basically everything. And it's definitely showing already because we already have different prioritizement in, in the draft, for example, because we see how the best teams in the world draft so we're kind of trying to trying to test it out uh, and see if it's actually good. And today it seems like it was good. Well, uh, you faced the Giants who started like playing with a completely new roster. One can say, um, what, were you preparing especially? And also, they've got like two new Korean imports there. What what were the thoughts going to that game? Did you pay attention to their previous games? No. Uh, we didn't really prepare for them like uh, specifically. It's really hard to get research on them too because they have just been in Europe for one week, two weeks. So their solo queue accounts are really empty, basically. You don't see a lot. So we just checked their Korean accounts and we could basically see what they kind of played. But no, it was just... They, they were not really a threat because their mid laner was so far behind and then the whole team couldn't do anything, so it was just a storm, basically. Um, why do you think it went so well for you and especially, is it the Corky pick or you just outplayed it per personally? No, uh, I think the victor just misplayed really hard. Uh, whenever you take the, your package, you can hear like in the game like something and then you know that the enemy has the package. So he basically knows I'm picking it up and he's still doesn't back from his lane. Even though his jungler was a bit close, I thought uh, they would they would bait me to go in, but this guy didn't even come. And then the guy sti was still overextended in the lane. 
and then you just jump on him and then you jump on him again and then he cannot flash away because you still have flash so he he just misplayed and I just capitalized on his uh, overextend. Do you think that first win in the week eight, like coming back from IEM, is also, in addition to your IEM success, kind of morale boost? And what is the atmosphere, what are the feelings in the team? I saw like everyone smiling today, everyone's happy. Um, yeah, I would say we're just really happy because we played so many games in a row and there's so much to take from. And uh, winning today, we locked our spot in the playoffs. Uh, now it's just we really have to win our first uh, series against uh, unicorns or gamers too. So I'm just really looking forward to playing that, and I think we we are improving at a really high rate. So it it should be good for us in the in the playoffs. Well, anyway, thanks a lot. Best of luck. Uh, congratulations with your playoff spot. And thank you, guys. You can check out more videos at the Score Esports. Thank you.